If we're lucky, we will meet again. Oh, fuck you. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Alright. So, what you can do over here, anyone who's hanging out with Mr. Glasses over here, who we don't know yet in real life, but we'll know very soon. Uh, they teach you about techniques and shit. We don't have to talk to them now. There's really no point to talk to anyone right now. This guy sells you shit. What you see on the table is what you can buy from him. Uh, you buy it by collecting the coins, like I said. And, uh, I don't know why I'm saving. I really don't need to save right now, to be honest, but I am. Um, I did- Fuck, I did it again. God damn it. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop saying, mm. Stop saying, um. It's whatever. So, I think we talked to this guy. He says something pretty interesting. What's with all the cubes? I don't understand any of it. What should I do? Please help me. You just gotta climb. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Help. Maybe this will. Huh. Well, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think that would. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I saw a sheep fall past me on my way up. I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you hear is your own death scream. You can stay here. Even this place will fall eventually. Uh. I'm trying to. Was it this guy? Snap out of Uh, maybe it's somewhere else. Oh, damn, one of them say something interesting from at some place. I'm not going to spend all the time here. I always like talking to the dude at the confessional over here because he's such a fucking smarmy ass bitch. Uh, hey. I told you, sit down first. I told you, sit down first. Oh, You're here, Lost Lamb. He'll be answering another of my questions. I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. This is the second question. Do you feel more anxious when you're alone or when among men? Do you feel anxiety when you're alone or amongst people? Okay. Uh, I feel anxiety. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the funny part. So the questions do change, I guess, depending on what you answered before. Because I remember I played this earlier. I was doing like a plest, a plest. I mixed the word play and test together. I was doing a test playthrough to make sure all the recording setup was working and shit and beautiful 1080p and stuff like that, right? So when I did that, look, look at me, look at me dance. When I did that, the second question that I got was, do you prefer noisy places or quiet ones? This one is way different. This one is which one makes you more nervous. So to be honest, being around people makes me pretty nervous. I don't know how that makes me a bad person game. Made your selection. I knew it. I'll answer your question this time, little lost lamb. This entire place is an immense sanctuary. There are eight floors. This is the second night, and only the second floor. Wait, so does that mean there's an end to this? If I can get to the end, I don't have to die? Don't get your hopes up. You'll never be able to reach the pinnacle. Anyway, listen. I hear the sounds of your night terrors approaching. <laughs> Are you ready? I like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? Huh. That was a, uh... Huh, that was kind of a... I was gonna say, like, that was a weird question. It's not really that weird of a question, but I mean, like... I don't know many people who would be afraid, not afraid, but uh, but nervous when they're by themselves. Huh. Really? That many people are nervous being alone? I mean, I mean, if you're like walking down like a dark alleyway or some shit at night, then probably, but I mean like in general, like I love being alone, it's great. Nobody tells you what to do. You can do what you want. You can eat all the cookies and milk that you so dream of all those chips ahoy and beautiful beautiful oreos are all yours no one can touch them and take them voice where have i i won't let you escape what is this catherine the 
So over here we have our tutorial boss. Every night that you go into the nightmare, you will have like you'll have a boss. No matter what you do, you'll have a boss. There's no way to avoid it. If you try and avoid it, then don't play the game. That's all I can tell you, right? But we have our beautiful tutorial boss over here. I say beautiful reluctantly. Um, I said um again reluctantly. Why did I pull that out? I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to use my pullout game yet. There you go, game. You can't stop me. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. So, I'm sorry. I was being quiet for a while. I was concentrating, and I realized maybe I should start talking. Maybe I should start talking. Like, two minutes. This game, uh, when it comes to its bosses, they like to pull this thing that I like to call uh, bullshit. Which, basically what it is, is that no matter how far away from the boss you are, the boss will find a way to make a beautiful, glorious leap of justice. And they will zone in on you as fast as they can and ruin your day. If you were playing this game on hard mode, your day is going to be fucked, like, constantly. Like, this game is actually, it's one of the few games where when you go on hard mode, it's actually fucking hard. Like, there's no... Uh, oh, shit, damn it. What am I doing? I panicked. I panicked. did it without using an item fuck you bitch so like i was saying you're gonna have a boss at the end of every night and each boss pertains to something related something that's related to vincent and in, in his life something like that so right now our first boss is something we already know that vincent is struggling with and that's him being together with Catherine. so we have Catherine over here and her fork why does she have a fork well because she likes to do this thing where she takes the fork when they're hanging out, she takes the fork and she fucking stabs her cake. She stabs it. Is it gone? Like really violently. I'm safe. But anyways, we beat this bitch and we can escape. Make a great escape. Great escape. Great escapades. Look at that. It's beautiful. Get me my gold trophy. I swear to God, if it's a fucking silver, I'm going to lose my shit. It's gonna. You're gonna make me mad. You're gonna make me very mad. I'll fucking come on. The prison of despair. God damn it. What happened? What happened during the test playthrough? I was getting nothing but golds. Wait, wait, come on, man. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to you? What is this? Masaka. Marriage is just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's supposed to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Well, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh! Uh, uh, well, 
I uh, have to work tomorrow, so I need to get home. Oh, oh. I had fun tonight. Oh, oh. You must like what you see. <laughs> I'm not staring. You're a bad liar. You taste like smoke, <laughs> but I don't mind. Ha! <laughs> you don't say. Holy shit. Oh man, this is not good. Mm -hmm. What is it good? Well, uh, you know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Mm hmm. Um, is this gonna be a problem? So, okay, I cheated on Catherine. This is bad. This is really, really bad. But I didn't make a move. She forced herself on me. Oh, fuck, man. I drank way too much. <laughs> uh, would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. Huh? No. No. So... How do you feel about me? Huh? Oh. Wow, um... I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel... odd? Hmm? You see, this is my first time. Oh wow, I can't believe it. And I am really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight? Huh? Ah! What?! I'm sorry! I'm really... You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, guess? Sorry, I, uh, I gotta go now. I have a, um, a dentist appointment now. Dentist? Yeah, dentists get angry if you're late, too. Well, I wanted to stay with you a little longer. I guess they'll have to wait until next time. <laughs> okay, see you soon! Hey, wait! I'm actually dating someone. This is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake. Ah, you know what? It just hit me. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with the girls. <laughs> I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have? I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. If you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pic. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. <laughs> I am so fucked. Hey, have you heard the rumor about the dream where you're falling? Huh? Who cares? 
Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. Anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one-night stand. Hey, you paying attention? Listen, man. Huh. I never saw the girl. Oh, really? I figured one of you guys told her to sit with me. Uh, if this girl was cute, you'd definitely remember. You know, I gotta say, because of you jerks, I never get a chance to date anyone. If I was a ladies' man, I wouldn't be here every night with you guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? Yeah, I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Shut up! I'm not like that! What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So, did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Whoa, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them, or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Cheating is pathetic. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. Who are you calling pathetic? Shut up and eat your peanuts. My eye! Huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling about cheating and shit. I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. Let's just leave me alone. Well, well, come on. Tell me about this girl. Oh, God. Apparently, she's destiny level cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. You're in trouble, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha ha ha, shut up. I'm done fooling around. the circle button to get up all right fuck you game don't tell me how to play damn it I know what I'm doing so now we are really at the straight sheep we can finally interact with shit so let's introduce you to the group say hi this is Orlando we will call him fedora this is Johnny we will call him smoker and this is Toby we will call him stupid so Johnny and Orlando Vincent and Erica where the fuck she may be I don't know where she's at right now uh, they were all friends childhood beautiful Toby, he's kind of the new guy hanging around. So, first thing you want to do when you're at the Stray Sheep is drink. Why, you're at a fucking bar. Why wouldn't you drink? It's what you're there for. So, the game's about to tell you, you increase your drunkenness with the little gauge on the left over there. And every time you drink, like I said earlier, Vincent will reminisce, reminisce about his decisions in his life. But more importantly, when you finish your drink, Voice cracks. Oh, this is sudden. But here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. The name Rum and Cola 
is actually a nickname. Do you know the real name of this drink? I cannot hear the voice that is reading this, so I don't know if if it's over or not. Cuba Libre. The rum called for in this drink represents Cuba. This is a cocktail which mixed the national specialties of Cuba and the United States as a celebration of Cuba's independence. Cuba Libre means free Cuba. It tastes differently when you know the history. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Tea already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. Okay, there we go. I have to like, I had to turn up the volume on my TV to, to hear what the fuck he was saying. Um, let me, let me see. Maybe I should turn it up all the way and just keep it there. Hopefully none of the audio feed feeds back into the microphone. Uh, I'm going to take a... We just drunk a cocktail, so I'm going to take whiskey. Whiskey. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm, okay. Oh, look at you, Johnny, over there, all refined and shit. Fucking... So how's work? Drinking... Drinking sake and shit. I came here to forget about that shit. Okay, let's talk about that curse. Never mind. If you're done bringing us drinks, then scram. <sighs> you're so cold. I find it funny that that Erica is their friend, but they all just kind of treat her like shit. At the same time, this game was obviously made in Japan, so there's a couple of reasons why they treat her like shit. And uh, and what else was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. I don't know if I can remember. But anyways, every time you're at the stray sheep, first thing I always like to do is I like to head to the bathroom and wash my face, gather my thoughts. What did you see? <laughs> Tonight you'll visit the torture chamber. Don't forget your boxers. <laughs> huh? So, here's what I find funny. I find it funny that I said earlier that when they all leave the dream, they don't remember what happened to them. But Vincent, but if you do this every night, Basically what you happen basically what happened is that Vincent goes, washes his face, and then fucking God talks to him, basically. And Vincent's like, What? I'm not gonna question this. Anyways, we're gonna head to the jukebox. Game's gonna tell me, hey man, guess what? Use a jukebox to change music. And we have some uh some songs here that some of them I have I I've uh, unlocked already. Others I haven't fucking others uh there's still more to unlock, that's basically what I'm trying to say. So, Persona 4, backside of TV. Why not? Speaking of Persona 4, you come over here, if you look closely, fucking Vincent, there's a nice little teddy doll there. Teddy for Persona 4 is beautiful, look at that, look at that teddy doll right, right there on that shelf. So, around the bar, when you talk to people, time progresses. When time progresses, a multitude of things can happen. You can get messages, people will leave and come in the bar, and there's one more thing that I feel like happens when time progresses, but I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyways, so the way I like to do it is, hey man, your teammates over here, your buddies, your pal, they're not teammates. I don't know why I call them teammates. Your buddies, your pals, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. They're all going to have their own moments or whatever in story, but they will not leave they will not unexpectedly leave the uh, bar. So, what I like to do, same thing with boss over here, the uh, the bartender, and Erica. They will not leave the bar. Those two will be the last people here. And so, uh, watching the news does not progress time, I believe. Uh, drinking does not progress time. And answering messages do not uh, does not progress time. So, we're going to talk to these two over here. Talk to other customers. Game's gonna fucking tell me what, what I just said. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy. Always climbing. And let me introduce you. 
And this is Top, and this is Archie. Are you on your way home from the office? Or not? You're not wearing a suit. Suit? Oh, I don't have that kind of job. That's a shame. You're not one of our customers, then. What do you mean? We make business suits. Haven't you ever heard of Bantam suits? Have you heard the jingle? You'll be the cock of a walk in a Bantam. Oh, you're from Catherine's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? Maybe. Maybe so. I think of it, but I, I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't it? That's enough cock a out of you. Oh, uh... Wow, you're sharp. So, if you guys don't notice yet, this is an Atlas game, given by Persona Music and fucking Teddy, and the fact that when you start the game up, it says Atlas. Look at this. So, it being an Atlas game, you're gonna hear a lot of familiar voices from other games, like, uh... Uh, what's his name? Archie over here, the guy with the long hair. His voice actor is Adachi from fucking Persona. This guy over here with the glasses, we have seen him before. This man is the sheep uh, that teaches us techniques and we talk about them. Have a good time. I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Hmm. Have I met you somewhere before? Maybe so. Um, I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the legend. Anyway, in my research, I found records indicating that similar cases occurred in hundred-year cycles. Many men died last time as well. It's the truth. Oh, every hundred years, huh? I found a strange variation on this legend going around too. Hmm? There's a man who survives it. Survives the dreams? Very, very rarely, there's a man who is cursed but doesn't die. Isn't that interesting? It's said that the survivor is granted one wish. If he wished for eternal youth, he might still be around. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Well, if this is what you're coming up with, you have a wish in mind for yourself? Hmm, to live forever? Not too typical? Me? I'd wish for something different. Like what? I may wish to change the past. Let someone kill me. Oh, uh... <laughs> I wonder what I wish for. So, I find it funny that, first of all, more tutorials. I find it funny that, <laughs> that Vincent just kind of shrugs it off. He's all like, oh, so you uh, killed somebody. I guess I'm just going to keep that to myself. Anyways, we have some messages here. Uh, let's see. Congratulations. What else we got? I think that's the only one we got. Damn it. Damn it, game. You lied to me. So... Uh, hopefully those two are still here because I want to show them off. Okay, so you have these two uh, twin, twins, middle-aged women, although they're very gray. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Please. Have you ever heard this story before? The man who climbs the highest mountain gets his every wish granted. What's that? It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do it as he pleases. Is this a fairy tale or something? These are true stories. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince, he was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legend? So, these two are kind of weird because they're never really explained. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, again, like earlier, this game was made in Japan. If you can't fucking tell, Atlas. Um... I keep saying, um, it's a bad habit, man. It'll never stop. I can't stop it. Won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so these two, they're kind of like oracles, I guess. And what they speak is kind of true. If you were listening to what they said and what Justin said over here, uh, what they were saying was that, was that every, kind of like every hundred years, there's a challenge that, that's presented to man. 
and whoever climbs the top of the tower is granted a wish that they probably like basically their problems are solved so we got a message from Catherine our subject being are you at SS again I guess that means stray sheep are you out drinking again I came by your apartment today but you weren't there I want to talk to you about something but I'll do it tomorrow oh yeah your place is filthy I told you you have to empty the trash more often I took it out this time but start being more careful okay that's all good night sorry I wasn't home just bad timing I guess I can drink if I want to we'll talk tomorrow good night bitch <laughs> nah, okay so uh, <laughs> don't touch my stuff <laughs> really <laughs> don't touch my shit <laughs> that's fucking crazy all right uh just bad timing I guess sorry I'm too tired to talk right now we'll talk tomorrow good night see ya nah. man I'm sleepy Fucking lying ass. <laughs> lying ass. Man, I'm sleepy. He says as he's at the bar going like, going like, woo, party. Party till dawn, baby. Okay. Makes me a bad person for answering that. So, what I'm going to do is since we kind of like talk to everyone, we don't, we're not at the part of the game yet where we need to talk to people and it's kind of mandatory. Not mandatory. I mean, it's always optional. But there's no payoff, so we're gonna sit down. We're gonna we're gonna down this whiskey. Uh, whatever, Vincent. I don't care about your inner thoughts. At some point, he's gonna start repeating them. And we're gonna finish our drink. I know this is subtle, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass. Now that you emptied your glass. Do you know what malt means? It can often be seen on alcohol labels. Malt refers to malted barley, a key ingredient. Yet, if it is labeled as malt whiskey, it must also be scotch. Single malt means that the malts used come from the same distillery. Malt whiskey can vary wildly in taste, depending on how it's made. So, there are many different brands. And that was the trivia for tonight. I think I may have skipped the line. I couldn't hear it. You still want a drink? Uh, yes, yeah. bitch. Get me my fucking beer. I need, a beer. I need it. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Oh, Johnny over there being Mr. Refined again. Oh, I'll take a sake, please. Give me my little sake cup. Make sure it's nice and steamed and hot. So I can just down it in one go. So, Orlando, what do you got to say to me? Okay, man. You say men who cheat get cursed. Cursed? That's so stupid, I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? If only I don't get caught. Pretty so, but... <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. Bad or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. All right, Johnny, what do you got to say to me? About men who cheat being cursed? Apparently, it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean, like how Paul died? Yeah, or it is. This is getting called the woman's wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah, he was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously, how was he? He just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> hey, we got a message. What we got? Huh? From... What the fuck is that word? Cutish cat? At... At karyophone... <laughs> dot dot dot. Okay. Is this reaching you? Hey, Vincent! If you get this, let me know, okay? If you do, I'll send you a picture. You know you know, you want to see it. Who's this? Who dis? New phone. New phone, who dis? This is Vincent. This is Vincent. What do you want? Please don't message me. Pics now! Please! Send nudes? Send nudes. 
Nah. Uh, for we're, we're, let's do it for the playthrough. Send nudes. Send nudes. Picks now, lady. Now, now. I want them now on my fucking table. So, uh, let's see. Over here, we have the Rapunzel game. And the Rapunzel game is basically there to help you practice with, uh, with your climbing abilities. And playing that will probably make you good at the game, to be honest. Probably make you better. Uh, I don't think we have anything to talk to anybody with. Because I know... Uh, let me see. Can we talk to the to the ladies again? Damn, Vincent. Mr. Morgan is coming tonight. I wonder if I can see Mr. Morgan tomorrow. Who the fuck is Mr. Morgan? Okay. Anyways, when the talk icon, when any icons like grays out like that, that means you have nothing else to do with them. Don't worry. Again, like I said, don't worry about Erica or the bartender. I'm just gonna talk to them again. My women like I like my blankets. Replaced by a maid every morning. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, I got a message. Uh, the passage of time. They're, okay, they're just telling you is a tutorial. They're just telling you how how time works. Have you played that Rapunzel game over there? Some stages are supposed to be impossible, but there's a cinch if you've got technique. Technique, Squidward. Technique, technique, Squidward. Technique. What the fuck? Come on, man. What do you want? Oh wow! <laughs> I didn't. I comp I didn't think you can actually do that this early in the game. To be honest. Uh, so, <laughs> thanks for writing back. Be sure to save my address, K. Okay? I'm saving yours. Here's the reward I promise. Don't show it to anyone else. So, <laughs> there's a funny thing right now where you can just click on the image button, and I'm just gonna do that, see what happens. Oh man, I love how Vincent, like, you look at it for a split second, and Vincent's like, oh, I can't, no! <laughs> No, I can't do this. So, what they want you to do, which I hate doing, is they want you to go in the bathroom, sit on the toilet because being near the sink isn't enough, and then check your email. And then what you do is you go here, and you press it, and you can stare and goggle at the image all you like. <laughs> Did you? Uh, fuck. <laughs> Man, uh, I don't know if you guys heard that, but I, I just heard Vincent just go like, shit. <laughs> like he's looking at the picture. Let me see if I can do that again. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> That's weird. All right. <laughs> Vincent's like, oh, shit. I can't. Oh. <laughs> Fucking stupid. All right. So the reason I hate... I hate the fact that they make you go in the bathrooms because every time you leave the fucking bathroom, some motherfucker likes to be a dickhead and change the music that you're playing. It's like, hey man, I put that shit on for a fucking reason. I was listening to Backside of TV. Alright, um. Don't worry, I'm going to be changing the music up every time we come here. Uh, let me see. I don't think there's anything else to talk to them about. So we're going to head over here back with the group. I got to go take a leak. Hey, uh, is it true Orlando's divorced? Huh? You didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. He lost a lot of money in some scam. His wife left him. He pretends not to mind. But I think it still gets to him sometimes. Even when his wife calls him, he... Huh? What do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Alright, so I'm just gonna down this beer right in front of you guys. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. Fuck you, Vincent. Stop talking about your life. Nobody cares. Just drink. Drink it away. All your problems. All your problems are gone with alcohol. That's how life works. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about the beer. Now that you've emptied your mug. Now that you uh, emptied your mug. Cold beer can be amazing. 
But do you know the best temperature to enjoy a good brew? No, I do not know the best temperature to enjoy a good brew. When beer gets too cold, the proteins solidify and cloud the beer, and it doesn't form a good head. It does vary by season, brand, and personal taste, but most beers are not recommended to be served at lower than 45 degrees Fahrenheit. That's already very cold. Be wary of bars that freeze their beer. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? Man, you gotta, you gotta bring me some more. Yeah. Bring me that... Bring me that sake. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Man, with the amount that Vincent drinks, I'm surprised he's not a fucking alcoholic. Hey, listen up. Just got some fresh news. Yeah? Not that cursed? No, even better. There's a witch in town. Can you believe it? No, there isn't. Get back to work. Alright, so when Erica loses her shit and goes like, there's a witch in town, I don't know if she's either referring to the twins over here, or the fu- or maybe she's referring to the people that send you into the dream or whatever, right? So, we're gonna talk to Toby over here. Hey, Toby. You and Catherine have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just wanna know for reference. <laughs> it wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed after all. Hey, stop that. Stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. Seriously. Hey, man, I'm not a cheater. You guys are cheaters. You, you, you cheat on life. Oh, is that the time? I should be heading home soon. Time will slowly pass. Each time you sit and talk to people, have fun. You so, they're telling you that people come and go as uh, time comes. As you can see, Martha and Lindsay over there just peace the fuck out. Wow. Is it that late already? I guess we're done today. And now Archie and uh, Todd are leaving. Alright, so, we're gonna drink up our, our sake. Vincent's gonna reminisce about his life for a little bit longer and how boo hoo hoo sad me I cheated on my girlfriend like get over it you fucking pussy I know this is sudden but here's some trivia about Japanese sake now that you've emptied your sake cup refined sake is made by filtering the gory sake but did you know that another strange ingredient is added at this time ash is added it's said that a sake maker in the Edo period put ash into the sake to take out his anger. This is the unexpected success story behind this delicacy. And that was the trivia for tonight. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? What? No, I'm good. I don't want to drink. I'm fine. Fine, I, I drunk as much as I can tonight. So, you're going to make... Vincent, get up. This is breaking news in our ongoing coverage of the rash of mysterious weakening deaths. The following people were proclaimed dead today. Those mysterious weakening deaths. I can't believe that Paul's dead. That is all the information we have up to this point. We'll revisit our top story after the local weather in the event that there are any updates to the situation. So, you know what, I was going to say something, but I think I'll wait until a later part to discuss it. But the TV here does actually play a part in the game in some way. Uh, Justin has nothing to say. Let's talk to the boss. Right. Her I heard about from Erica is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Two random words at a certain someone. But tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. 
Anyway, let's both avoid ending up cursed and dead. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Bye, Justin. Nobody fucking asked you if you were leaving, but bye. You fucking what? What kind of vest are you wearing? It's a weird ass vest. Quite a few customers come in to see Erica. It's great for me. Uh, yeah, it's late. Anyway, I can't hurt her anymore. Hey, hey, Vincent. We're all heading home. How about you? Uh, well. I think I'll stay and drink a little more. How long are you going to be drinking there? <laughs> Hurry up and come. Did I, did I just hear something? Hey, come here. Wait, the voice. You're cheating? That's big news. Don't you care about Catherine? Uh, of course, but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but jeez. Men who cheat are cursed. If that rumor is real, what are you gonna do? Nothing, because it's not real. Man, as everyone talks, all I can think of, look at all these people from Persona. Catherine started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to minds like yours. Is that the way it is? Like, Erica, Erica sounds like a more mature version of Chie. Catherine sounds like fucking Rize Kuchikawa. Toby sounds like Yosuke, Mr. Yur Yuri Lowenthal. And, uh, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember any other voices besides Archie being a dodgy over there. But, hey, Catherine, what's up? Girl from last night. Uh, I mean, a little bit of spoilers. We didn't know her name was Catherine yet. But, hey, it's the girl from last night. Why are you here? So, if I come here at this time of night, I can see you. Are you going home? Yes, I am, bitch. I have something to do. Uh, oh. Well, I'm glad I got to see you tonight. Be careful on your way home. 